The NCAA championships start Wednesday in Eugene, Oregon. The Texas Longhorns with 15 athletes competing in nine different events, third most in all of college track and field. And we now welcome in the head coach of the Texas men, Bob Thornton. Coach, in your years of doing this, taking teams to that national championship event, what have you learned about perhaps what it takes to be as successful as you can be at that event? You know, it, you think it, it's a big formula, but it's about repeating the performance that got you there. Uh, Johannes, 82-90, if he repeats that, there's a good chance he's going to win. 69 uh, feet in the shot for uh, Ryan Krauser. Good chance he's going to win. It's about repeating those marks that get you there. What gives you balance with this group? Uh, something that we've talked about all year long. Uh, knowing that you don't have to do it by yourself. Uh, if, if each of the 15 score a point, that's big. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Possible. But then as you get into like Krauser, Johannes, Murphy, Donor, uh, Stewart, uh, there's five guys that can score and score big. Uh, we're not expecting them to win the championship, but if we get their best performance, then all of a sudden those third and fifth places will really add up. Trey Hardy. He was there at the Big 12 Championships to see mm -hmm. Johannes Hawk win that. You mentioned the number. If he does that again, probably going to end up very well at the finals. But you also have him going up against Isaac Murphy now. What is that dynamic like to see them prepare, push each other, but at the same time compete against each other at this environment? I, I really don't think being teammates uh, is going to make a difference one way or the other. Both are a little different in what they do and how they get there. And uh, for Isaac, he'll have some events that he's a little stronger than Johannes. Johannes will be a little stronger in some of the throwing events than Isaac. And so uh, I know when uh, we start that first day, uh, there's going to be 24 athletes out there. And even though they're going to both have burnt orange on, there'll be individuals trying to add that score up. Well, we were talking before we went on with this segment, and you mentioned that you were very happy that Johannes did not grow up in the state of Texas. <laughs> and I think that's a comment that speaks to his kind of athleticism that he brings to the table. What's the basis behind that comment? Uh, if, if he grew up in Texas, he'd probably be uh, a five-star outside linebacker or strong safety. Uh, uh, he's, he's just that athletic and uh, incredibly strong. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about the weight room and, and the conditioning that we go through. Uh, we've we've kind of had a saying that I've had or for a long time, he's just country strong. <laughs> and then when you throw in the other things, uh, he's he's very, very talented and, and puts the, the techniques and the movements together very well. Well, speaking of country strong, you've got three qualifying for the shot put that can throw at a country mile. What is that beyond just getting big guys that are strong? How do you explain developing them to the level where you have three going on to the NCAAs? You know, it, it's really a neat thing to have three in, in that event going, but it's, it, it's a process that goes back uh, almost four or five years ago. Uh, being able to get Hayden Bailey to come in, uh, and when he came in, we had a Jacob Thurmalin here who... Yeah. It was a big piece of this throwing group. And uh, when Hayden came in, Jacob elevated everything he did. Uh, Will Spence was a guy that uh, we knew was going to be a development piece. But when you're around that every day, I mean, it's not that you're competing, but inside you are in the weight room, in the lifting, in the throwing. Uh, there's a little something going on every day. And then, of course, uh, having a group. And having the School of Engineering didn't hurt us with the Krausers. And so uh, it, was, it was good to see uh, Ryan come here. I mean, he's, uh, to me, probably the top young thrower in the world. And you know what? When you say someone's going to be the next great one in the world, 
nothing to argue with with this guy because after all, he came on, he called the shot for Marquise Goodwin. <laughs> he said that he could go out and run that 4-2-7 in the 40 at the Combine, and he did. We look forward to success from your guys up in Eugene. Coach, we always appreciate it. Well, thanks. It's a, it's a great time, and – 